Good afternoon. My name is Brian Becker, and I've received an invitation from Coach Johan. And I would like to talk to him this afternoon about the power of touch, a mini all day urban retreat. Johan, hello. Hi, Brian. Are you well? I am, and how are you? I'm also well, thanks. But I'm a bit mystified as to why we need a power of touch retreat. Maybe you can explain that to me. All right. So, <clears throat> you know, I do all these weekend retreats away. Mm -hmm. And um, some men did ask me, you know, they can't always go away for a weekend. In the first mm -hmm. place, it's money. The second place, maybe they are um, involved or have a partner or are married. And then um, they would like just to do a experience of what, mm -hmm. what we're doing on a full weekend retreat. So I decided to, to do a, a full day mini urban retreat here in Pretoria. And why it's mini urban, it's a mini retreat. So it's not a full, it's a, not a weekend retreat. And urban is it just is, a one day. It's only one day. It's from nine o'clock till 4.30, somewhere there. And okay. um, it is obviously urban. So it means it's inside the suburbs. So it's, it's not a, a, a go away um, to a, a beautiful retreat uh, venue. No, it's in, in Pretoria. Okay. Um, why do you call it a mini retreat? Uh, was that because of the fact that it's only one day? Absolutely, yeah. Um, a retreat is not actually a retreat for me. Is something that's an ongoing process for a few days and you sleep over at a beautiful place. And mm -hmm. I decided not to call it a workshop, but a mini retreat. So that there's glimpses of things that we do and activities that we do on a retreat that we condensed into one day. So you'll mm -hmm. get a, a wonderful experience of, of what we really do on a longer retreat. And some okay. people refer that than actually going on a, a weekend away. Okay, now tell me, what do you actually do? The title here is The Power of Touch. So what, what is this? Yes, so The Power of Touch is we also, you know, to touch somebody, there's so much power in that act. And because we are deprived from touch at the moment with the whole COVID situation, we're not allowed Absolutely. to be close to anybody. I just thought it's something very powerful to, to let people touch each other, hold each other, be there for each other, holding yeah. space for each other. And that's for me, it's all about that power of, of touch. So there's so much power in touching. Yes, that's absolutely true. COVID has really robbed us of our opportunities absolutely, to, yeah. to be in contact with each other. Yeah. So um, is this a mixed group or is it men only? It's also just men only. Um, so mm -hmm. it is to give the men who are open-minded enough to experience something wonderful. Um, and like I said, just, you know, if, if somebody can hold you in a, in a safe space, well, it's just amazing. So is this just gay men then? No, no, no. It is men from all over. And like I said before, um, men who really wishes to, to do this mini retreat are sometimes men who comes with a partner, sometimes alone, but do have a partner. Sometimes it is a, a, a single person or a married person with a wife. And uh, it gives, it's really, really open for anybody or any men um, to, to join us for this day. And, uh, you know, we start about nine o'clock in the morning till just after four. Okay, men of all races then, I assume? Absolutely, yeah. And most, most of the times it's only um, white men. And I don't know really the reason for that. But I assume that is more of a cultural thing. Maybe uh, other races doesn't always know about this uh, because they don't see my website. I don't know, but most of the, most of the times it is um, white men um, or Indian men or colored men and here and there a black men that attend. 
but most of the times it's uh, for all. Well, let's hope for this time that we have a very good mix there, yes. Absolutely. Um, age range, what are we looking at? Are we uh, sort of inviting very young guys, very old guys? Yes. Um, with the mini retreat or the mini urban retreat, it's uh, very difficult to say. Um, I would rather say it's more uh, men in their late 30s to uh, uh, early 50s. So it's, you don't really have older, older men or don't have young, young men. Um, but in that range, so 38 to about uh, 60, 65, I think, like 50s, 50, 50, 60, or somewhere there. Okay. Um, what if I feel a bit overweight, you know, a bit self conscious? Um, Brian, there's a non judgment oh. policy. So we don't judge and we do absolutely try to empower you as far as possible. That's the same that happens on the longer retreats, that you can feel safe and that you can feel welcome. And um, so it's non-judgmental and uh, yeah, it's a beautiful space. No bullying at all. Okay. Um, uh, do you provide refreshments through the day or what's yes. the procedure? Yes. So on arrival, there will be coffee and tea. Uh, and then we break for coffee and tea in the mid morning which is mm -hmm. something very, you know, like a, a rusk or a little cookie or something. And then I also do ask upfront when you buy or purchase the ticket, uh, you know, if you have any dietitian needs. So that means if you are allergic to, to milk or uh, are you a vegetarian or any of those, you know, dietitian, dietitian uh, questions. And then um, we, we give a, a light lunch and so forth, yeah. Okay, good. Um, what happens with uh, privacy? Because, you know, privacy is a big thing in our lives here. And um, I'm sure I wouldn't want somebody going and grabbing, you know, you saw that Brian and he was there and he was whatever. We, we do, once we start, we create a safe space. And that's normally a circle around a fire. Um, and to create that safe space, we, we do ask that there's no recording and there is no uh, video recording of the event. Um, obviously, I don't allow any cameras or cell phones in the venue um, and it needs to be switched off. But then also what stays in Vegas or what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, um, which is an old saying, but it means that Whatever you heard here in that safe space, we respect that that um, that story. It's not our story to tell. It is that mm -hmm. person, and if he wants to share and feel vulnerable in that safe space, it is a wonderful space to be that, just to be yourself, just to to feel vulnerable uh, with Ming, and and I think that this um, yeah quite quite a special space. Good. Um, I assume also that we are going to be very considerate of each other. Um, for example, I'm not going to have garlic the, din the night before for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> no, definitely not. I hope not. Um, so, you know, bad breath or, or a body deodor or any of those things, or even um, somebody that just quickly went for a smoke, they don't always realize that they do have um, a problem, if I may call it a problem. Um, yes, there, there is always a mouthwash uh, available if, if you want to freshen up. We do have an outside shower if you need to do that before we start to have body work. Um, and then, um, yeah, I always uh, ask that if it's a hot day that, you know, don't even put too much deodorant because that also might uh, activate uh, an old memory. Uh, which is sometimes not uh, so nice. Um, uh, if you smell uh, old spice, for example, and, and, and something happened with you with, with a person who used old spice as a little boy, it can just uh, activate that bad memory. So I ask, you know, go slow on that, but also be fresh every time that, then you work. There's enough facility to, to, to go outside and quickly take a shower. 
Johan, could you tell me about your COVID uh, measures because we all need to feel safe? Yes. So um, we do ask that you you if if you have any any um, uh, COVID or uh, flu symptoms that you tell us beforehand, I will either refund you or let you uh, come to another retreat or a day mini retreat if there's any problems. And then obviously, you know, the, the same procedures when you go to a shopping mall, washing your hands, taking your temperature. I also do have uh, these vice my, uh, visor plastic mask if you if you prefer to use those for the retreat but the thing is we want you to also be safe and 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 enjoy and sometimes uh, if you if you if you not do if you don't enjoy then you can also not learn so yeah it's all about feeling safe and enjoyment yeah it's it's a fine line between um the touch and the interaction and being safe and so yeah. everybody will have to take caution and take responsibility for their own health absolutely as well. and also afterwards we do find if you have any symptoms afterwards or if you do uh, test positive for COVID, that you let us know um, as soon as possible so that we actually can um, let everybody know there was somebody that uh, that uh, compromised you know compromised our group and uh, mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, we, we, you can get it anywhere and, and, and that's an unfortunate thing, but we try to, to be as safe as possible. Yes. Now, I, I'm not sure if we mentioned the date or not. When is the retreat and where is the retreat? All right, so it's in, yes, it's on the public holiday, which is Friday the 24th. There is of September. Of September, yes. Um, so mm -hmm. it's nine o'clock till uh, four thirty, more or less. Uh, like I said, it is a public holiday. It is also a long weekend, um, and, and it's in Pretoria. So you can also buy a ticket online. Um, the website is workshopsformen.co.za, or my cell number is zero eight three two eight six one eight nine one. And you can just uh, WhatsApp me and say, please, please give me more information about um, the urban retreat. Okay, excellent. Johan, thanks. You've answered all my questions. Please sign me up. Thank you. I'll see you on the on the long weekend then. Twenty fourth. Yes. Okay. Thanks, you, Brian. And if there's any Enjoy questions, thank you. If there's any questions, you can just WhatsApp me, and I will certainly try to to answer if if you forgot something. Excellent. Thank you. Cheers now. Ciao, bye.